Number nine, find the frequency range of visible light given that it encompasses wavelengths from 380 to 760 nanometers. So we need an equation that will relate the wavelength to the frequency. And that equation is this, that the velocity of the wave will equal its frequency multiplied by its wavelength. So if I want to find the frequency, that means I got to divide both sides by the wavelength, and that should be then the velocity of the wave divided by the wavelength. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, Andrew, they didn't give us the velocity. Well, how are we going to do it? Well, we are assuming that this is a uh, electromagnet electromagnetic wave traveling in a vacuum. And if that's the case, the velocity then is the speed of light. Okay. If we're traveling in a different medium, like, I don't know, water, then it wouldn't be the speed of light anymore. You know, the velocity would change and therefore the frequency in the, well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, right? When we start doing those questions, the frequency will wind up, well, we'll get to that in a second. All right. And by a second, I mean the other chapters. So, um, let's just plug in the values here. Okay. So here now we're going to have the, uh, velocity. Uh, is going to be 3 times 10 to the 8 divided then by the wavelength. All right, and that is going to be now, do one of them first, 380. 380, they said nanometers, but we need that in meters, so take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 9th. That's one calculation, and then the other would be the same thing, just plugging in the other wavelength, 760 times 10 to the minus 9th. So I'm going to do them both at the same time. So 3 times 10 to the, well, meaning... Uh, how, how can I actually do them both technically at the same time? Unless I had two calculators. All right, so I got that first answer, and then I'm going to do the second one. All right, so this works out to be a frequency here of about, the first one is 7.89 times 10 to the 14th hertz. And the second one here is going to be 3.95 times 10 to the 14th hertz. So that's the range, all right? Notice how the frequency is inversely related to the wavelength. As the wavelength increases, the frequency will decrease. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.